Hello, fellow plant lovers! We sometimes have to leave our plants unattended for a while, maybe for a vacation or we just don't have time. Today, I'll discuss with you what I do for aesthetic self-watering systems and vacation-ready self-watering systems. Olive branch! Have you ever bought Costa Farms plants from big box stores and they have these ropes attached at the bottom? They call these wick and grow, and the plants come with a tray that elevates the plants with the support structure. When you take the plant out of the pot, you see this plastic clip that holds the rope in place. So accidentally pulling it does not displace it or disturb the roots. Mimicking this is an excellent strategy, and I use cotton or polyester ropes. The downside of using cotton dipped in water for a while is that it can get mildewy, which polyester is more resistant to. But I've had my calatheas and patos like that for six months, and they've done extremely well. I make a knot, and put the ends through the drainage holes, and make another knot. I put the plants like this, and my moisture wick is ready. Just a tip. Make sure to water the soil if it's dry at first to initiate the whole process. Now on to aesthetic self-watering system. The easiest thing would be using deeper cash pots. This IKEA planter is a little deep for my 6 inch nursery pot, which is perfect because the space underneath the nursery pot can be our water reservoir. We just need to elevate the nursery pot. Using some PVC pipe fittings, which cost me 75 cents each, pre-cut at Home Depot, or you can get a load of them for $14, or you can cut your own. You can insert them in the cash pot and water just below the top of the PVC fittings where the plant will sit. The whole idea is to have a plant sitting on a water reservoir without touching the water. Making sure the rope touches the bottom of the cash pot, place the plant on the pipe fittings, and you're good to go. You can also utilize glass cups. The advantage is that you can see the water level clearly from far away, so it's less cumbersome. To make it look prettier, you can use a terracotta pot instead of a plastic nursery pot. This one's a little special because it's a vase. Vases or candle holders have ornate shapes that are perfect for holding nursery pots. This bottom part is the water reservoir and I drop the moisture wick to the bottom. Now, you can make a humidity tray. If you'd rather water one tray that provides water to multiple plants, you can go with something like these. I made them with bamboo trays. Technically, they're called drawer organizers. I'm using my leftover vapor barrier, but any large plastic piece will do. Using a glue gun and scissors to trim excess material, I just made myself a water reservoir. Now, to elevate the plants off the water, I use my favorite bamboo skewers. Cut them to size, glue the pieces together. This tray has a lip all around the perimeter, so the screen can sit on it, which makes it much more stable and stronger than it looks. For the other tray that doesn't have a lip around it, I can use my handy dandy PVC pipe fittings. I water the tray, and it provides water to the roots and humidity in the air as it evaporates. Vacation self-watering! Now, this isn't exactly the prettiest, but it should work well as long as you can ensure good lighting for these. I got this one at IKEA. They have all different storage boxes with different dimensions. It happens to fit snugly in my IKEA Ivar storage unit. Figure that, right? Drill some holes in the lid and drop the moisture wicks. It can hold a ton of water. It's been two weeks and the plants are doing well. Now we don't have to sweat so much about watering our plants anymore. If you found this video helpful, your like and subscription are a huge support to the channel. See you later!